Hello everybody, my name is Elping Bear and welcome to the Sky Modding Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, three things that you have to download if you want to start editing the textures of Skyrim for your mods. Now the first is a DDS plugin. Now what is DDS? DDS is the file format that is used by Skyrim's textures. Now, I'm using Photoshop, so this is why I'm on this page, uh, the Photoshop DDS plugin. Now there are versions for GIMP and other image editing software, and it's just a quicker Google search. So this is where it is, we're going to click that, we're going to download it. Now to install uh, plugins for Photoshop, you've got to move it into uh, the correct folder. In my case this was in Program Files, Adobe Photoshop, uh, CS6, App, Photoshop, Required, Plugins, and into File Formats. The next step is the normal map filter. Once again, this is also available for other image editing software, but in this case, I'm using Photoshop. Um, I will provide all the links below. So this is the NVIDIA Texture Tools for Adobe Photoshop, which will give us a normal map filter. So why do we need normal maps? Well, normal maps control how a light hits the object, uh, some bump mapping and all sorts of things. You'll notice if we go into Skyrim, uh, we'll see that most textures have a diffuse map and a normal map. Uh, it's got the N underneath. For this example, S Castle column 1, that's the normal DDS, and that is the normal map. So what this texture tool does, it adds a, a filter so we can make our own normal maps. This one I think you install it like a regular .exe and you do need both the DDS plugin and the filter map plugin. I've actually done some experiments on this and uh, have tried it without the DDS plugin and the filter plugin and it would not function so you need both. The last uh, essential thing that we need is the Fallout Free Archive Utility. Now this can be found at the Nexus. It's considered software, but it's found in this modding site. And I know it says Fallout Free, but it is, you could um, use it for Skyrim, for New Vegas, for Oblivion. They all use the same .bsa files. So you download download this like you, like you download um, any other mod, either using the Nexus uh, mod manager or manually. Uh, you download the .gar file to somewhere, and then uh, you install it, and then um, you can use it. 